So next up we have Mardu Hero. Um, the idea with this deck, um, let me just move some of these things around so it's easier to see everything on the screen at once. Um, so the idea of this deck is that Hero of Precinct 1 um, is a multicolors matters. Um, so we've got a bunch of multicolored cards. Um, so we've got a menace sub theme um, towards this. So um, we've got Labyrinth Raptor, which is a new card, um, which uh, when you're blocking with menace uh, creature with menace, you have to sacrifice a creature blocking it, which is cool. Uh, pump your, be able to pump your menace creatures too. We've got Stormfish Crusader, which was an awesome card from Eldraine. We've got D Spark as uh, some interaction. We've got Dire Tactics, which is a new card, so to exile target creature. And then if you don't control a human, you lose life equal to that creature's toughness. But with Hero of Precinct 1, it will create a human um, because it's a multicolored spell, so then you wouldn't lose the life. Now uh, we've got Kunaros as some interaction, stops things like uh, cats and Uros. Uh, we've got Judith. Uh, we've got Sonorous Howlbonder. So this is a card that means that menace creatures have to be blocked by three creatures rather than two, so it makes them very difficult to block. Uh, I've got Mortifying Bedevil as some more interaction. Um, that's, that's something we can make pretty. Why is it not pretty? Where did my Bedevils go? You can't make Bedevil pretty. Weird. Okay. Um, got Seraph of the Scales as just a thing to go over the top with. We've got one copy of Sodden Vengeful Bloodlord. And we've got three copies of Angrath Captain of Chaos. So creatures I control have Menace. Then means that um, everything then has the, those abilities. Um, so yeah. Let's dive on to some games with Mardu Hero. Um, this hand seems fine. Not great, but fine. Certainly a keep. Okay, that makes it a bit, of be bit better. We've now got a bit, of a bit of a better curve. Didn't really have a curve before, so... With everyone playing Gross Spiral decks. I know Gross Spiral is a busted card, but literally everyone. Play like a Wilderness Reclamation or something. These D Sparks are going to come in nice. Okay, five color. Braska, you going to kill my hero? You can kill my hero. I only baby. pick targets that interest me. Lucky you. What? I won't forgive this. Kill the Vraska. Stop that. Okay, this isn't the end of the world for us. D Spark's still a good one. Okay, <laughs> that was snap taking the Seraph. So don't have too many answers to that. Okay, they, they seem to be a fair deck then. Just happen to have some extra colours. I'm late. Rude. Here we go. This is surely attacking the Angrath. Yep. It will be. That's rude. <laughs> that tickled. <laughs> wow, that's that's creepy. Color control deck. Sure. Don't worry, I got this. Go away, please. This is hardly my worst defeat. Okay, so what's our what's our best draws here? Probably 
probably the other set of maybe Sodden. Um, this would be some good draws. Um, removal for this would be reasonable. Um, wouldn't mind a Labyrinth Raptor. Labyrinth Raptor would be quite good here too. Mortify is nice, because that means these things are unblockable. I'm just going to pad our life total off air chunk. Oh no. Okay, and graph down. Damn your eyes. Ram a new course free. Okay, I feel like we're going to lose this one. Like, we've fallen behind. Yeah. That's... Come. Create That's a greedy, greedy mana base with me. in that deck. Uh, okay, so lost the first one with that. That'd have been a, an interesting one to see with the, uh, the Demir Flash deck. For our 23 land deck, we kind of flooded out a little bit there, so that happens. That's magic. Um, I think on the draw we keep this. Like We've got a good chance of finding a white source to turn on these other cards. At least that's land 3 for the Hellbonder, if nothing else. Okay, so Kinaros should be good in this matchup too. Feels real bad they've got that many lands before we untap on turn two. But, you know. Them's the beats. So yeah, this one's an interesting card. It's got a lot of text. Oh, interesting. Really interesting. Could really do with finding a white source before they have five cards in the graveyard. Also got castle activation up, which is brutal. Never seen water burn. The only prize I desire is your head. Best start thinking fast. You're on your own. Can we please find the white source before they can Uro me? Please find a white source. White source. How many white sources in this deck? Two, five, seven, ten, fourteen. Two. Uh, that's all the blood crypts. Five. Uh, eight. Fifteen swamps. Uh, we're, we're, we're completely dead this game, but we'll let them do their thing. Mm, should do this after this trigger resolves. Technically, but I 
spawn light source. That is not a light source. Actually, okay, too late. Just like there's not four of each shock land in here, but there, there probably should be before we start messing around with lots of basic lands. Okay, here a deck. Cool. Hopefully we find land 3 so we can at least be... Okay, heroes are, uh, Dire Tactics is a good one so we can at least um, kill their creature and uh, make a token. Okay, land please. Rude. Man, the mana with this deck is just not, not helping us here. I think I'm just kind of used to playing like 27, 29 land decks of recent times, so. Alright, find me some lands please. That's not a land. That is a land. Okay, at least that found the land, so we can at least try and keep moving. Gaining life with that, that's rude. Um, I guess we're probably not using that, so just want to mortify this and get the hero back and try and try and go wide again. Seven like it. Yikes, yikes. Um right. Well we need to shock this in, otherwise we are just dead. So I think we're supposed to mortify the vanishing light and place one first crusader. And then just look to trade off trade off this one. Had three, three question beasts. Right. We'll give this one another shot, and then if it's bad, it's just bad. So, um, the mana seemed really poor, um, but let's fix the let's fix this slightly. So, I don't think there's a need for these fabled passages, and we should probably have one extra of each shot land, and probably cut a mountain. That should give us a little bit more access to our colours. Um, we'll have an extra two, two sources of each colour. Uh, yeah, this hand's much better. 
two heroes and a piece of interaction. Sign me up. Okay, I found the next deck we're playing anyway. Cycling Godzilla. Sure. I'm starting to think this just feels like a mediocre aggro deck. Fire's Invention into Storm's Wrath? Shatter. Choice. And we're flooding this game, so, you know, usual stuff. Yikes, that's number three. got the dire tactics to deal with that if that happens. I don't know why auto pass works in your own turn but never in your opponent's turn. Never understood that. Yikes. Yep. Yep. Humble your mind. There is always more to learn. Enlightenment begins within. You're just fuel for the fires of freedom. If you want it, fight for it. I will miss you, friend. half a chance here just because they're not going to be able to... Oh my word. Ah, I'll we have you so in chains dead. next time. Yikes. And now there's a Godzilla in play. And they get the stomp thing. Woof. Opponent's deck is sweet. Okay, we're done with this one. It's just not not doing particularly good. Um, it's a reasonable concept, I think, but realistically, without one drops, it just kind of feels clunky. Um, the mana wasn't particularly good. 
Um, but that's okay. Um, we tried it. We went 0-4. and four. Um, I don't think any of those games kind of gave me any kind of hope that this deck was going to be good. Um, so, yeah, we'll park this one, we'll shelve it, and we'll move on to another one.